Man, my back is killing me. Now then. Hey, uh, think we might find something over there? Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Found something. Koichi's 
Still a threat. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Hey, uh, think we might find something over there. Hey, asshole! You gonna cry? Come on. Let's do. It. Looks like I. Uh. Yeah. I'm up. Is there a problem? Drinks later. Guess I'll skip the gym. Today. Bring it on. Let's get it. Okay. okay. Hope this hurts. That's another one in the back. This ain't a show, dipshit. <laughs> All right, let's go. Hard job. That's picking time. Cool. Keep moving. Oh, I think I found something. Oh, yeah, even group. That's how you do it. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? 
Yo, I think I found something. Do it. Hey, uh, think we might find something over there. Hey, you! I'll sue you! All right, let's go! Okay. Don't get chockered! Have fun with this! I'm even stronger now. Hey, I'm in good shape. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Should I open it? Whoa. Go cry, your mama. Bring it on. That's kicking time. Open one. Here I go. Looks like I'm up. Weak. Got you now. You're out. Okay. You're in it now. Watch this. It's time. 
Should I open it? Sweet! I've got some more fight in me. Hey, uh... We might find something over it? there. Got how you do it. <laughs> Looks like we can relax here. Want to take a break? Damn 
Damn, that felt good. Maybe I should get some tea. What's with the sign? Kasuga, word of the wise. Be careful with the tea around here. Careful of it how? Other day I bought a can of green tea. Sweet. Hey, you! Sweet like crazy. Like pre-sweetened? Yeah, like if you ordered tea somewhere and dumped a bunch of sugar in it. I, mean, I was expecting something familiar, so it totally floored me. Yeah, I get it. Culture shock, right? Sorry, Adachi-san. That sounds traumatic. Uh, that's the thing. I kept drinking, and actually, it was pretty damn good. Well, when you're back home, missing Hawaii, dump some sugar in your tea. Oh, not a bad idea. I might just try that. This is what it is to be a citizen of the world. Feels like a slight overstatement. What is? Oh, the internet crapped out on my phone. So is this the end of the world? I don't know, it just won't connect all of a sudden. Damn thing was fine till now. Yeah, sometimes the signal gets spotty, depending on the place. Man, no internet? It's like I'm cut off from the rest of humanity. You're not cut off from anyone. You got us, pal! Just think of all the good times we've... Hey, it's back! Ho oh, ho ho! Whew! Thought I was a goner. Uh... You know... I think Ichiban was being real genuine just now. Yeah? Yeah, my bad. I wasn't listening. Repeat that, would you? Just forget it. Aw, you two are such good friends. This ain't a show, Chip Chip. This should be fun. The battle is on! Wow, that was disappointing. And picking time! Break yourself! Here I go! Let's get it done!
Tell me. You know. You've had rough. What's the Yeah. Jesus. You hook. Come on. Let's get it done. Okay. Looks like I'm up. Watch this. 
Don't mind me. the theater itself, huh? Don't see that every day. Not like there's customers. No way with how they treat the place. Yeah, they've been using it a while now. It's basically their playground. Never know when they'll show up. Watch your back, yeah. Watch 
second time. Take your back. Break your belt. Here I go. Oh, oh, yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Let's get it done! Open wide! Here I go! Oh yeah? I'm up! Going in! What's going on? Yeah. Have fun with this. Hope this hurts. Should I open it? Sweet! It's not bad! Good to go. Yeah. Have fun with this. Hope 
This hurts. Yes, I'm a fast learner. Let me out. Not bad. It, it works. Pretty good. It, 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 it works.
Should I open it? Got it! <laughs> oh, relax. Yeah. Why don't you just leave him be? That's right. Forget him. Uh, You're so mean. <laughs> I'll finish it quick, ladies. This is your mice turn. Yeah. Safe to say he's got the advantage. Let 
Let's go. You can be Feeling better. That's kicking time. There's no way. Here you go. Thanks, yo. Finish it quick, ladies. 
Confident bastard, ain't he? Hey, this is your master. Safe to say he's got the advantage. That's picking time. Hey now, don't let him 
get the better of you. <laughs> You're my son. For you. <laughs> you asked for it. Playtime is over, motherfucker. <laughs> this is a surprise. I was hoping the dragon would have more teeth. <laughs> Watch the hole! Let's go! Going in! Watch out for this! You pissed me off! Have fun with this! Don't mind me! Cheer! Cheer! Ready as I'll ever be! Here I come! Ready to turn up the heat! Huh? That's ticket time! Break yourself! Here I go! Go! Oh, 
There's no way. Got you now. Make it so you do know you're mine. Tomizawa. Choice is yours. But you know what you gotta do. Or do you want to be disgraced even more? <laughs> Grace and I split ways a long time ago. Now then, you gonna take your swing or what? That's enough. Hiryu-san is safe and sound. Hey. That said, if you lay another finger on the boss, I can't guarantee he'll stay that way. How about that? You really do have a way with people, don't you? Ugh. Now there's a keeper. Man, what I wouldn't give for a girl like that. What, like it's too late? If you're serious, I say go for it. <laughs> you better show up at the wedding. Uh, 
I'm coming in. We have guests. Kiryu-sana! <gasps> Keep your voice down. He needs to rest. So, uh, you've been looking after him? I just did what the boss asked me to do. Apparently, he used to look up to this guy way back when. Yamai did? He's been asleep ever since they brought him in. His wounds aren't too serious, so... I'd wager it's something internal. Figures. If anyone's gonna push himself, it's kiryu son. First aid is about all I can do at this time. Now take your friend and get out of here. I swear, if I'd known about all this, I'd have called off the fight. Yeah, though he is still chasing after Akane-san, right? He hasn't given up on that, he's still trouble. Yamai. Yamai, what's your plan once you find Akane-san? Akane? Oh, you mean the old bat. Hey, have a little respect, will you? Anyway, why even bother going after her? Because the entire Hawaiian underworld's on the hunt. I got no idea what she's worth, but I'll find out once I get my hands on her. That's really all? I've been in Hawaii for a while now, but it's hard making yourself known. The Barracudas and the Genja, we're not fit to lick their boots. So if I can get my hands on their precious little prize first, I'll have a big cushy seat at the negotiating table. Negotiating? You act like it's a business deal. But really... Don't you see you're just using Akane and Lani's lives to get what you want? Everyone's on the prowl, and you don't scramble like that without good reason. By the way, who's this Lani you mentioned? <laughs> I'm glad you asked. Means maybe you still have a heart after all. Let me explain. Whether you believe it or not, well, that's up to you. So, Pale Kana's golden boy is the big kahuna out here, and he's after this little Lani snot, eh? Boring story like that. It must be true. Y you mean you believe me? Tomizawa's switched sides. Kiryu's got your back. <laughs> you don't seem like too great a liar. Top of that, I now know why they're going nuts enough to chase some bird around town. Hmm, I'll leave the lady be. I'm not so strapped for cash I need to prey on a kid. Huh. <sighs> Once Kiryu's awake, pack up and get lost. You stay off my turf, and for good. We never see each other again. Deal. Yamai, I just have one more thing. Hmm? Kiryu-san pulled through, and for that, you have my thanks. I owe you one. <sighs> I had nothing to gain. You don't get glory from kicking a corpse. No, you're a better man than I took you for. Well, not that much better, but it's something. Sure. Keep thinking that. <laughs> to me, Kazuma Kiryu is family. Uncle Kaz! <laughs> Where do you live? Hmm? <laughs> you don't have a home, kid? The orphanage. I snuck out. 
You live in an orphanage. Wait, kid. Hey, there she is! Get the girl! After her! Don't let her get away! Stop! Hey, stop! She's just a girl. Keep your hands off her! Here, your son. You're safe now. We're looking after you. Kasuga. What happened? We talked things out with Yamaya. Turns out, he didn't know anything. He was only looking for Akane-san to get a leg up on the competition. No other new info, though, I'm afraid. Even now, Akane-san and Lani are still out there. I see. Please, leave the rest of this to us. Hmm? Hear you, son. Think about it. You can't keep pushing yourself to the edge like that. <sighs> Sorry to make an ass of myself, but I knew what I was getting into. I'm all good now. Still with the tough guy act? How are you in any way all good, huh? Here you, son! Look here, I used to be a nurse, so I want you to keep that in mind and listen to me. I know I don't have much time left. There's just something I need to do. You mean rescuing Lani and Akane-san? You don't have a chance in hell. What? Go back to Japan and focus on recovering. Anything else, and you'll just weigh Kasuga's son and the others down. <sighs> uh -oh. My mission has always been to secure Akane-san as quickly as possible. Objectively speaking, your staying here would be a hindrance to the mission. Kasuga's son is clearly worried about you as it is, and it would only stand to slow him down. Ultimately, that may end up putting Lani in danger. <laughs> I doubt that's what you want. Lani and Haruka Sawamura are kindred spirits, wouldn't you say? Haruka Sawamura? As Kiryu-san might say, she's essentially his daughter. Once known as the girl worth 10 billion yen, she too was a poor child hounded by man's greed. Had Kiryu-san not protected her, she would have been all but erased, and with little fanfare. Lani's no different. Even in my eyes, her situation aligns with Haruka's in many ways. <sighs> Kiryu-san, I can see why you're so determined to help her. However, in your current condition, you couldn't even rescue yourself. It doesn't take a nurse to discern that, now does it? Hey, give it a rest. Kiryu-san. Just take it easy for a bit. Namba said he'd go back to Japan with you. Akane-san and Lani will be okay. I swear we'll figure it out. Remember, it's not just me. I've got Adachi-san, Chi-chan, and Tomi too. So please, can you let us take it from here, Kiryu-san? You know, it's pathetic. A guy at my age, forcing those younger than him to ask that. And twice. Leave it to you, huh? You're right. I've been too scared to rely on others for too long. <laughs> scared? Here you son, you... Yeah. I think I'm finally starting to realize that. <laughs> the longer your life, the more surprises. <sighs> yeah, no kidding. All right. Sorry to ask. But Akane-san and Lani need you. Will you help them, Kasuga? Everyone. We're on it. Ichiban.
Mhm. Mhm. Akane-san and Lani need our help. Let me know when you find him. Hey, you know it. In fact, you'll be the first on the list. Seeing you, Ichiban. Uh, actually, hang on. You got a sec? Huh? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you. Barely just got here, and Chichan's got you wrapped around her finger. Sachan's old news now, is that it? You dog. Hey, look, it's nothing like that. But besides, man, she's like 20 years younger than me. Yeah, and I'm sure that's got its perks. Come on, say it with me. Chi-chan. <laughs> <laughs> You're nuts. You know, you came all this way. It's a shame we didn't get to hang out like this. Sorry about that. <laughs> it's been fun. <laughs> well, do me proud, Namba. <laughs> Always. See ya. Dragon of Dojima left everything to you. Bet you're feeling the pressure now, huh, Ichiban? <laughs> yeah. Still. I won't let him down. So, how about it? You got any more ideas for how to find those two? Don't tell me you're gonna upload another video and sit back. Hey, it's not like that was for nothing, right? For all any of us know, Akane-san could message him any second. Akane-san worked as the director of an orphanage. What's more, Polykana ran the place. There's a thought. Polykana folks will probably know a thing or two. We've already been there, though. We may not have known about Bryce's identity at the time, but we didn't find any clues either. Besides, they're not the type. None of them would have ties to a gang or anything. Maybe so, but it's a lead all the same. And it's the only one we got. We'll just have to go and see for ourselves. Sounds like a plan. A good cop always revisits the scene of the crime. Ugh, squall coming. Hello?
Aloha. Thank you. Good to go. Phone. Don't see these too often in Japan either. Well, most everyone's got a cell phone these days, so there's not much demand anymore. You know, I used to collect telephone cards back in the day, actually. Pop idols on them. All right, that was a thing. You were big on collecting, Adachi san? I was, yeah. Until a co worker swiped one of my rare cards. Got a hole punched in the card from when he used it. That was the last straw. Man, that was pretty common back then. That whole debacle punched a hole in my at? heart, too. Made me stop collecting entirely. Promise me, Kasuga. Promise me you'll never use another man's phone card without consent. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure, sure thing. But well, when am I ever gonna use one now? We're really opening up. So this is the place? Malikana's got quite a little setup going here. Yeah, but still, it's weirdly quiet today. Last time we came, there were kids everywhere. Oh, look, there's one. These kids are pretty friendly, right? Isn't that what you said? Yeah, no mistake, something's off. Maybe someone's pulled the wool over their eyes, led them astray somehow. That bit about rescanning the crime scene holds true, eh, Kasuga? Could mean something here's changed. Maybe. Let's find out. The flames roared and swirled about. And so the enraged Nele, in all her wisdom, cast the greedy into the purging fires. <gasps> Rice? Isn't he supposed to be back at the island? The heck is he doing here? Welcome, Kasuga. It's nice to see you again. Uh, these guys are definitely a new addition. You don't seem too happy to see me. There a reason for the bodyguards? Ah, yes. These are Haku warriors. They are acutely sensitive to those who would wish me harm, you see. Dana and Callan out or something? 
errand duty? If you have business with them, I can oblige. Though I cannot stay the flame's judgment. Wong To's story. Was all that really true? Be real. What are you gonna do with all those kids? They're scaring me, Father Bryce. <laughs> Fear not, my child. No evil can withstand a Haku warrior's spirit. What we should do now is pray. Let us beseech Madame Nele to envelop them swiftly and painlessly. How do you like that? He's got him taking pity on us. Akane-san took Lani and ran from here. That's why you're after her. You might act calm, but I know you're getting desperate. <laughs> Normally, you keep the gangs out of the public eye. But right now, you've got all hands searching high and low. Palikana's flames purify everything they touch. They encompass all doubts, all hesitations, and return them to the ashes. What happens when you find them? Just kill them and move on? I will cleanse what I can, and must. And as for what that shall be, whatever, or whomever, <laughs> It is my role, granted to me by the flames, to determine. You're stalling! Answer the damn question! <sighs> Arrogant demon. May her fires have mercy on you. Bryce! Heretics, be gone! Okay, I'm up. 
I'm even stronger now. Bryce, that bastard. I guess we're not chasing after him. What's going on here? <gasps> oh, Dana. Callan. <sighs> Kasuga. I see. So Bryce really did send you out for errands, huh? Yes. He said the food bank was in urgent need of resupply and asked if we could pick everything up. We rarely get instructions like that from Bryce himself, however. So we did think it a little strange. Right. Then you came back to this. Yes. Uh, Kasuga, about what you said, Halekana's true intentions. I just find it so hard to believe. Where's it all coming from? Oh yeah, guess you wouldn't know. I mean, I had a feeling that was the case anyway. You and Callan and all. 
Well, you didn't seem like the type to hurt these kids. Not at all. Uh, honestly, we have no idea what you're talking about. We never knew Bryce was controlling the gangs, nor that he was after Akane's life. Callan, Dana, I know I'm an outsider here. Heck, I only touched down in Hawaii just a little bit ago. I can't blame you if you don't want to believe me. Not when these are such big claims. So, for what it's worth, I won't ask you to. That said, you saw what happened here with your own eyes. Those were Ganja, Barracudas, and armed Polycana members. They ganged up on us and tried to kill us. <laughs> as far as Polycana goes, I say there's a lot you don't know about, and more where that came from. Now, with that in mind, if there's anything you forgot to tell us, would you please fill us in? For starters, we've been told that those who pilgrimage to Nele Island live in peace the rest of their days. As a result, many children here have been recognized as Haku and sent away. We've taught them they must keep the faith, that one day they can become Haku too. Of course, this has gone on for decades. <laughs> However, a long time ago, I told Callan about an experience I had. Nele Island had welcomed one of our kids, but I later saw them right here in Honolulu. Dana, you shouldn't. Once you go to Nele Island, Halekana says you're there for the rest of your life, right? Yes, so it shouldn't have been the case. At first, I thought maybe I was mistaken. Their face was totally different, after all. But still, they'd lived here for years and were practically family to me. The way they talked and behaved was just how I remembered. So, with that, I approached them and asked. They said I had the wrong person. You still think it was them, huh? I do. I don't know the details, but my guess is they underwent some kind of surgery. I mean, changing your face is one thing, but your voice is another. I'd know that voice anywhere. Without a doubt, it was the same child I thought to be on Nele Island. <sighs> I wanted to talk with them some more, but they ran off, almost as if they were trying to escape. I never saw them again. So, wait, what's it all mean? The Nele Island kids are sneaking back under new identities or something? Long Toe's story does line up, if I remember right. Yeah, he said Bryce makes his followers faithful as can be. Then he slips them into Ganja and the Barracudas as spies. Dana, the kid you saw, what were they wearing that day? They were in a police uniform. Huh? Bryce isn't just shipping his pawns off into Hawaii's gangs. If he's got cops, he's probably got lawyers, politicians, and even businessmen. Anyone who holds some kind of power. Worse, he's built this over decades, with tons of people. Influence like that would give him control over the whole city, his own network. I see now. Nele Island's like a training facility. Bryce gets his pawns geared up and ready to go, then sends him back here. That can't be. He's a monster, that Bryce. He's been using your beliefs for his own gain. <sighs> what on earth do we do now? What are we supposed to say to that? I don't know. Look, you might have come to terms with all this, but I just can't do it. It's real, it's fake. I've got no idea. Even hearing all that, Polycana's teachings are all I know anymore. If they said I could go to Nele Island, I would go. I, I would want to go. That's what I taught the kids. That's what I believed. As far as my faith's concerned, I choose to stand firm. <sighs> I need to get started on the children's dinner. Some of them won't ever have anywhere else, you know. This place is their last bastion from the world outside. If it's all right, for their sake, can you not mention any of this in front of them? Hang on a minute, you'd really send more kids out there? Even after everything we said? 
The chosen children only get sent to the island twice a month, and that's at the very most, either on the new moon or a full moon. Suffice to say, they won't be doing so for a while. We've got to find Akane-san fast, before the next window rolls around. This orphanage needs answers, and we need to know if the island's safe. Maybe she'll have an idea or two, yeah? Well, our mission's starting to pack on a lot of weight. No wonder the Dragon of Dojimo is on the case. Yeah, but if we pull this off, we'll save more people than we know. Not a bad deal, if you ask me. Kiryu-san. Kiryu-san. No. Oh. We're back in Japan already? Yeah, you were out like a light. Almost thought I'd let you keep snoozing. Thanks for the wake-up call. Eh, sure thing. Anyway, just got an update from Ichiban. He said they nearly cornered the Sage of Palekana, but he ended up slipping away. And on top of that, Akane and Lani are still missing. Anything changes, he'll let us know right away. Sounds good. But as far as Hawaii goes, we're leaving that for him and the gang. Right now, you're seeing a doctor. Otherwise, you and I wouldn't be here. Yeah, I know. Nanbasan? Doctor, how's our guy holding up? I'm sorry to say, but he's only getting worse. He seems to be aware of that himself. <sighs> Honestly, I'm surprised he made it here on foot and not in an ambulance. The cancer's taken quite a toll on his body. He must have a will of iron to have pushed himself this far. Is there really no hope for him left? To improve his chances, I recommend giving him round-the-clock care as soon as possible. Or, at the very least, some bed rest. Recuperating at home is another option. Yeah, right. But knowing him... Yes, he made it very clear he wasn't interested in any of that. And it is up to the patient to decide. All I can do as a physician is offer advice. Now, I imagine you've already done this, but if you could encourage him to start taking care of himself. Coming from a friend, his mind might change down the road. Yeah, that's what you'd think. This might not be my place to say, but he acts as though he's given up on recovery. It's almost like he's rushing to his death. I'm afraid there's no other way to put it. I'm sure it's frustrating watching him do that to himself. He's got a strong mind, a stout heart, and what was once impeccable physique. But he's also as stubborn as a mule. Yeah, tell me about it. Here, make yourself at home. Ichiban won't mind. Ugh, sorry it's such a pigsty. I'll find you a better place to hole up eventually. No, I'd honestly rather stay put. Less eyes on me here than some hotel. After all, I'm not even supposed to exist out there. Uh, right, there's that. Anawa-san actually told me a couple things. Like how I should call you Taichi Suzuki in public. That's my name whenever shit hits the fan. Sorry if it's throwing you off. No, I wouldn't say that. Uh, there is one thing, though. What? The doc was telling me earlier how you're not open to any treatment. Are you sure that's what you want? With all the recent advances in medicine, I'm sure you don't have much to lose by trying something. I can even ask around about options, things that are proven to help with cancer. Drop it. I've already heard enough. The Daidoji faction researched my condition to hell and back and found nothing. <sighs> I 
And besides, it's not like I haven't tried anything. I was thinking I could hold myself together, at least until Akane and the girl were safe. But right in the thick of it, my body gave up on me. Guess I was a fool to hope. Curious, son. Mind if I come in? Go ahead. <sighs> you know, I was hoping you would rest, not work yourself to the bone. I'm serious here. Why else would you come all the way back to Japan? I just thought it wouldn't kill me to lend some support from the sidelines. Now, I've been looking into Polykana. Sure, you can guess how that's going. The internet's a dumpster fire, ain't it? But hey, I'm sure a -chan will figure something out. Look, I'm all for supporting the team, Kiryu-san. But sometimes, that means knowing when to take the bench. <sighs> Don't waste your breath, Namba. Hmm? It's impossible to talk him out of anything. Nanba, is this your doing? <laughs> yeah, I happen to bring some company. Oh, but don't worry. She's a face you can trust. The moment you turn your back on him, that laptop's gonna be wide open. Even if all he does is type in circles. You brought Komi Jewel's leader? Yeah, why not? Son, he's an old friend. And apparently the queen of Ijincho. She runs the Liumang now, too. In other words, we're all outcasts here. And don't flatter yourself. You're not the only one I know who's dead on paper. So relax. I'm sure the Daidoji people won't give you too much grief about me. Why are you here? Just thought I'd save a dying man the trouble of paying me a visit. Besides, in our world, you're pretty much the top of the food chain. And in that sense, the privilege is all mine. Surely that's reason enough. Hey, uh, it's not like I ratted you out to her. She just caught wind of you first, like a spider to the fly. I remember. Nothing happens in this town without the Komi Jewel knowing it first, huh? Mind if I take a seat? I brought some of the best Korean medicine money can buy. Okay, but as a former nurse, I can't exactly sign off on that for him. Well, it's not every day a dragon comes to town. And what better way to pay my respects? That doesn't surprise me. Kasuga's gonna be Kasuga no matter where he goes. I wonder how he draws so many people to his side. Is it that heroic charm of his? Heroic charm? <laughs> you may be onto something. Yeah. He does have this certain effect on you. But the more you're around him, the more you can't help but help him. Silly as it sounds, he might just be a real hero. Just don't tell him you said that. He'll be over the moon for weeks. What? I have something on my face? Kiryu-san, let me ask you. What's your all-time favorite food? Hmm. Why food all of a sudden? I'll put it another way. If you were about to die, what would you want to eat right before? Let's call it your last supper. Sunhi, what is with you right now? Is that really the way to ask? It doesn't bother me. But now that you mention it, what would be a good last meal? You see there? Nobody takes that long just to think up their favorite food. What's your point? I'm saying your complete lack of an answer only shows how little time you've spent on yourself. 
You've always lived your life for someone else. You even spent a decade in prison so your sworn brother wouldn't have to. Really? He did that? The crime he took the fall for was patricide. After you got out, you ended up losing Yumi Sawamura, so you took her daughter Haruka under your wing. And now, here you are faking your own death, all to protect your loved ones. But with the real thing on the horizon, why not use these precious last days for yourself? Uh, you do have a point there, son He. And I agree. The thing is, I can't help but wonder. Yeah. Why do you care so much about me anyway? There are a lot like you in the Komi Jewel. See, we once served the Jingon Mafia, who had absolute authority over our lives. But even with them long gone, their oppression still lingers in many of our hearts. I've seen too many of us waste away in fear and regret until there's nothing left. It kills me every time. Well, I don't remember asking for your guidance. True. But while you're in my town, you're on my turf. And if I let the dragon of Dojima die full of regrets, I'd never stop kicking myself in the ass. You've really got away with words. Do I look like I'm that close to death's door? Come on. I wouldn't say that. But from here on out, it really wouldn't hurt to focus on some self-care. At least, I think that's what Sunhee's getting at. Yeah, more or less. Focus on self-care, huh? Easier said than done. What would you guys do in my shoes? Huh? What would I do? Yeah, let's hear it. <laughs> Don't tell me you can't come up with something on the spot. I can. Now, uh, let's see. Actually, I'd probably go unwind at the batting center. Hitting the ball's a bit like therapy. Especially after Jungi gives me sass. Uh, I don't know. I'd rather not put Curious on through anything strenuous. Right now, the man needs rest more than anything. Oh, for crying out loud. I'm not gonna collapse from batting. Good. <laughs> then let's go score a few home runs. Now? <laughs> Come on, it's now or never. Besides, the night is young and there's plenty to do. Kicking things off with baseball sounds like the start of a good send-off to me. You're really serious. <laughs> hey, count me in. I think Sunny's got the right idea. A night on the town will be good for you. Not like you were gonna lie down anyway, right? All right, you got me. But there's still some drink left, you know. Don't tell me the legendary dragon's concerned over a few drops of alcohol. Okay, from now on, if you're ever thirsty, I'll be the one to pour. When you've been in the business as long as I have, it's nice to finally share a glass on equal terms. And be honest here, would you rather get tipsy with me or Nanba? Well, when you put it that way. Oh, now you're just fighting dirty. No matter what you boys say, I'm coming with. My town, my rules, and don't forget it. The drinks got me. Evening, folks. Can we ask you guys something? Oh, we just happened to lose our wallets. So, uh, mind handing over yours? Hey, Miss Queen of Ijinsho, your subjects don't have any manners. Not my job to teach the village idiots. Ah, 
and in true idiot fashion, they're embarrassing me in front of my guest. Worst possible timing, too. You don't have to feel embarrassed. They're also a plague where I'm from. Yo, we don't have a fucking day! You gonna give us your money or what? T screw it! Let's just skip to the violence! Good thinking. <sighs> Hear you, son? Excuse me? I already know what you're gonna say. Don't waste your You're gonna need that energy for later. Right, and didn't I just say, you're in my town, and it's a host's responsibility to clean things up. You guys. On that note, time to take out the trash. Get ready for some middle-aged... Bring it on! What? What are they? Hear you, son. What's wrong? No, it's not that. I... Wait a minute. This must be what Kasuga was saying. About how his enemies would turn into monsters. Hold up. So now it's not just Ichiban hallucinating? You boys can talk nonsense some other time. We're in a fight. Listen, I appreciate your concern. Both of you. So I can't just sit back on the side. Fine. Just try not to... Let's do it. Get serious. Hold up. Okay. Allow me. Think you can handle this? It's my turn. Here we go. Right, Kiryu san? Yeah, thanks. Glad you guys were with me. No, no. If anything, it's the other way around. I mean it, though. Really. If it wasn't for you two, I never would have seen through Kasuga's eyes. Oh? When he first told me about it, I didn't believe him. But having allies at your side changes how you view the world. It really does make you feel like a hero. Kiryu-san? What the heck, so the battle visions are limited to you and Ichiban? Guess that's something special then, huh? What, you'd rather be hallucinating monsters too? Uh, maybe not so much. Well, in any case, I believe we were on a mission. Right. Uh-huh. 